Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Meyer here, they have eight pound bags of russet potatoes for $7.49. These are not baking potatoes. I know baking potatoes are usually a little more expensive. Well, they might be. I don't know. They're a little bigger, but it doesn't seem like too big of a sale. $7.49 for 8 pounds. Apples are now cheaper than Kroger when it comes to buying single apples. They are $1.79 a pound for Granny Smith, Pink Lady, Gala, Fuji, Golden Delicious, and Red Delicious. All of them $1.79 a pound. They have gone up to $1.89 a pound at Kroger. They do have their three pound bag of the Cara Cara oranges on sale for $2.99 a pound this week, so that's not too bad. Great deal on strawberries this week. They have one pound of the well-picked brand for $1.99 for one pound. That's a good deal. They have the one pint batch of blueberries on sale for $2.49. Regular price is $2.75, so only about a quarter off. They do have the six ounce packages of the blackberries on sale for $1.49. Regular price on these has gone back up to $2.49, so dollar off. Now, I'm gonna be honest, these raspberries look absolutely terrible. I don't know what's going on with the raspberries lately, but they are back up to the crazy regular price of $3.49. I wouldn't buy these. I mean, they, they just don't look good. We've had some complaints on the sweet cherries lately. I have to say, these don't look great, and they're a lot smaller than they usually are. They are on sale this week for $3.99 a pound. They only got two bags of them here. $3.99 a pound, regular price $5.99 a pound, but I, I agree, they do not look great. Pears have gone up in price again. They are now $2.09 a pound for all pears right here. $2.09 a pound. That is up from $1.99 which we were seeing a few sales for $1.49 a pound, but they didn't even go back up to $1.99. They went straight to $2.09 a pound. That's crazy. Cantaloupes here have gone up also to the same price of what they are at Kroger, $3.29. Honeydew melons for these small ones, usually the ones for $4.99 are a lot bigger than this. These are tiny uh, for $4.99. And the small personal watermelons, $4.79 here too. See, I know they're not in season, but still very expensive. We had a comment to check out celery and lettuce. They are selling these for $1.79 here at Meyer. They were $1.99, so that's come down a little bit. And the heads of lettuce uh, were down to $1.89, and now they're back up to $1.99. I will say the lettuce here looks really good. I know we've gotten a lot of complaints on lettuce lately. It's just looking bad, and it's looked bad around here, around Cincinnati, Ohio, for a while. But it does look like we're getting in some good batches here. An okay deal on the artisan romaine lettuce here at Meyer this week, $2.99. So that makes it a dollar a piece. I know, you know, romaine lettuce has been ridiculous in price for months and months, but $2.99 is an okay price these days. Regular price, $3.99 for this. And somebody was asking about the, the broccoli crowns. These came down. These were $1.69. Well, they were $1.89, then they were $1.69. Now, Regular price, $1.49. I, I guess nobody was buying them. Someone also asked about cauliflower and that it's been hard to find. It is hard to find. It's still hard to find. Um, we rarely ever see any at Kroger. I don't know if it, people buying it up, but we usually see it at Aldi and Meyer here, and they do have in a bunch here at Meyer. It is $3.49 for one thing of cauliflower, though. Bananas have sure been an issue all across Cincinnati here and along with a lot of places across the country. We get more and more comments that bananas haven't really been that great and that there's really not many to go around. This is the only like ripened, I mean they, they have these over here which normally would be a little cheaper. They have since taken that sign down though. They are 55 cents a pound. That does include the green greener here. They even put up a sign here, green appeal, lower in sugar, high in fiber. Um, but as you can see, they're just not getting a lot in. And this is everywhere. We saw at two different Kroger's last week where there were barely any. I was just walking past this here and uh, somebody had asked about fresh Brussels sprouts. They do have them. And yes, it is a bit of an issue. We see the most here probably at Meijer. These are on sale this week. 
two for five dollars. You do have to buy two of them though. So it's basically two pounds for five dollars. Someone asked if I would check on some organic russet potatoes. They do have them here at Meyer, Far and few between. Actually, um, this is the first time I've seen this brand here at Meyer in a while. $4.99 here for a three pound bag. They have the red and the russet here. Um, and they are the little tiny ones, so keep that in mind. They do have the organic mandarins on sale for $3.99 this week. This is a two pound. Two pounds for $3.99. Regular price $4.99. And some of their apples here. They, they do have the, uh, let's see, the Granny Smith. Uh, where's the bag? Here they are. Okay, so this was a big one. Uh, we got a few comments on this. Organic Granny Smith apples. People were saying that they're uh, right about the same price as as the regular apples now. And $5.99, we, have, we saw at uh, Walmart $5.74. For a three pound bag of Granny Smith apples. $5.99 for a three pound bag of organic Granny Smith apples. Had a couple comments on this one, so I just wanted to point it out. Figured I would check on the organic bananas since I'm over here. Uh, 69 cents a pound for these, but I have to say, these bananas look fantastic. As to where they have dropped the regular price finally on these peppers. $1.39 a piece. I think it's still too much. I, I hate paying more than a dollar for these. Uh, but the green peppers lowered as well. These are 85 cents again. These were, went up to 99 cents. These were $1.99 uh, a pepper there at the end before they lowered it to $1.39. We saw them at $1.69 a piece forever. But I wanted to tell you, of course, they don't have the, you know, kind of got to go with what they got. They don't have the three pack with the orange pepper, but they have two red and yellow pepper tri pack here. Rainbow pack, three dollars and fifteen cents. So you can get this for you know, about a dollar six a pepper. So that's much better deal. Onions continue to be a concern with the prices. These three pounds of uh, yellow onions here are three forty nine, and I saw in the ad it says locked in low price. They're doing a lot of things. Uh, very similar to Kroger. I don't know what it's taken for them to keep these onions down in price, but that tells me that they could be going up again. You know, for these little tiny onions a month ago, they were $1.99 all day. They had a sale on them for 99 cents there for a while. For them to be $3.49 is pretty ridiculous. And these have lowered too. Do not forget that you are only getting two pounds of white onions and red onions uh, for $2.39. They do have the five pound bag Right, and this is kind of what I don't get. They have a five pound bag of the same one that they have the eight pound bag up front on sale. These are $3.99, $3.99. So you could literally get 10 pounds for $8. I don't know, that's, <laughs> um, they do have these. Okay, so these are, I think these might be baking potatoes because this is where they usually keep the baking potatoes and they have the sale sign premium russet potatoes eight pound bag well no it doesn't say baking i don't know though let me know down in the comments if you know these are a little bigger but 749 for eight pounds and uh, yeah these are definitely significantly smaller than these ones i notice here they do have the certified angus beef ground beef round 85 percent lean on sale for 4.99 uh this week this is regularly 6.99 a pound so that's a pretty good deal they also have certified Angus beef New York strip steaks on sale for $9.99 a pound, which is the most of a like expensive sale that we've seen on these in a long time. Usually they're right around $7.99 to $8.99 a pound when on sale, but look at this regular price now. I've been telling everybody meat's been going up. Meat is going up again and it's getting very expensive. $13.69 a pound regular price. They have a sale on the Fredericks by Meyer sliced bacon. This is good bacon, really is. Um, it's buy one, get one of equal or lesser value, 40% off. So, and this right here, I believe is 529 and yes, 529 for that. Uh, so you would get one 40% off. You definitely got to bring your calculator with you when you come to Meyer because they, they'll always have a lot of these kind of deals. An okay sale on Meyer chicken thighs this week, $1.49 a pound, regular price, $1.99 a pound. This is the only sale I see here on chicken this week though. 
No, I take that back. They do have their all-natural chicken thighs boneless here for $1.99 a pound, too. Regular price, $3.29, so not too bad. So if ever you have trouble finding turkey, Meyer is the place to come. But they have gone back up in price. Pretty expensive. Butterball, $2.99 a pound. Honeysuckle, $2.29 a pound. So significantly cheaper than Butterball. Still expensive. But even Meyer... $1.99 a pound, so longer the days of the 50, 55 cents a pound, but $1.99 a pound, we do get great comments on uh, Meyer frozen turkeys. So what a difference a year makes. Last year we couldn't find Tyson chicken products anywhere. This year they just seem like they're overly stocked on them. Always getting comments on the chicken nuggets. They are on sale this week. $5.99 um, for 29 ounces. If you remember, this used to be 32 ounces. It has shrinkflated to 29 ounces. Somebody brought that up a while back. Wanted to point that out. $5.99 this week, though, is what the regular price was last year, but we could barely find them. $7.39 regular price, $5.99 this week. We got a comment the other day that uh, one of our viewers who uh, buys the Morningstar products, it's been very low. They have been very low at Meyer here, too. And the funny thing is, is that this used to be the place to get them. We've noticed over the last few weeks it's been getting lower and lower, so I don't know if they're not getting these products in. They are still on a sale, a lot of these here, until February 18th, 2023, but they're definitely selling these. And, I mean, it could be because of the sale, but we're just not seeing them come in, too. So they do have some of the impossible, like sausage patties and stuff like that. Um, not as big of a section as, like... Uh, like Target, Target is really has a huge plant-based option when it comes to frozen products. Somebody had asked about gluten-free bread and they wanted the frozen ones. Now, you weren't specific on which ones you were looking for, but they do have a lot of gluten-free options here by the Canyon Bakehouse. They are a little pricey, six, six, $6.69 uh, for the Udi's down here. That is $5.29. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they do have them, though, and they also have the gluten-free uh, English muffins here, too, and these are $5.79. We had a couple comments about Meyer up north in Michigan. Uh, a couple different viewers were saying that some of the frozen vegetables were coming back in. Uh, I mean, it's about as low as it always is at ours. Um, they do have some of the ones that are a little more. These are 16 ounces for $1.59, but the 12 ounce ones that are only 89 cents, they continue to be wiped out on most of these. As a matter of fact, this is the green beans. There's a couple mixed vegetables back here, and most of it is broccoli. Uh, they do have some of the steamable green beans here but they do have the broccoli cuts up here, which we got some comments on. So there, there are a few, but it's still uh, pretty empty. Okay, so I am assuming that a lot of this has to do with the Super Bowl, but boy, I'll tell you what, Myers just wiped out on a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of this is like appetizer foods and stuff. So again, yes, I assume that this has something to do with the Super Bowl, but if you notice here, I mean, they're wiped out of a lot of stuff. Hopefully they get this filled up. So this is kind of what I like to see here. Just a sale. Just a sale. No, no imperk, no extra buying, no nothing. Regular price on these regular boxes of cereal is insane at $3.99. But $2.49, great price. $1.50 off. Um, I'm surprised they actually have this much. Usually when Meyer has a sale like this, these will all be gone. But uh, yeah, if you like Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, any of the different regular sizes here, $2.49 this week also wanted to point out here that for the 42 ounce canisters no oh, just want to make sure that was still 42 ounces uh 42 ounce canisters of the quaker oats are on sale for 4.99 regular price on both of these is six dollars and nine cents so i know a lot of you guys on the channel like these on sale here at meyer somebody was asking about the jiffy buttermilk pancake and waffle mix saying you haven't been able to find it they do have the 32 ounce boxes of it here at Meyer for $3.09. Now we've seen some places this be over $4. So $3.09 regular price here at Meyer. 
So the struggle continues here at Meyer getting in the Chef Boyardee. We get a lot of comments on Chef Boyardee lately. Usually when they start going away, that's when we'll get comments. We saw a ton of it at Kroger, though, and they're $1.25 a can. $1.33 a can regularly here, but as you can see, they don't have many. Great deal on Meyer cheese this week, $1.88. $1.88 for most of the sliced cheese packets here and that does include the shredded eight ounce sliced and eight ounce shredded cheese dollar 88 a pack this week it's a good deal that deal also includes the eight ounce bricks of cheese something really funny here and I, I don't know if they had the sticker messed up on the philadelphia cream cheese but they had raised this to three now it was 315 forever like it, they raised this months ago to three dollars 15 cents over the last couple few weeks it's been $3.19. So I don't know if they had the wrong price on here, but it's dropped four cents back down to $3.15. It's hilarious. Somebody was asking about Pillsbury pie crust. They do have them here at Meyer. Comes in a two pack, $4.59 for that. But they have the Meyer one here, $2.95 for this one. And we've gotten some great comments on Meyer pie crust. Someone left a comment on refrigerated jello and that you haven't been able to find it and you were specifically looking for sugar free. The funny thing is, is that that's all I see here is sugar free. Uh, well, they have the original here, but the, look at that's it. That's it. They're completely out of all the other ones except for like the chocolate, kind of Hershey's one here too. But I don't know. Let us know down in the comments if you have had trouble finding jello. I know we had this issue months ago and it came back in at a higher price. But who knows? I mean, I guess, well, that might be the case this time, too. So I had a feeling that maybe Meyer would have dropped their prices on eggs. We saw them drop at Walmart. We've been getting a lot of comments across the country that they've been dropping in price at some of your uh, main grocery chains. I do not see any price decreases here at Meyer. As a matter of fact, their cheapest ones here are the Penny Smart Eggs, Grade A, still $3.99. Still $3.99 for those. I'm kind of surprised. I was hoping these would have dropped. One of our longtime viewers I know who drinks the lactate milk had said that Meyer has gone up in price on theirs, and it did. It's been a little while, for ours at least. It has gone up to $6.79. It was $6.49 this time six months ago. This was $5.99 all day, pretty much everywhere. But we're continuing to see this go up in price pretty much everywhere. No butter sales at all here at Meyer, but I will say this, at least the prices haven't gone up on it. We've been getting comments all across the country that butter's been going up in price again. Um, still $4.59 for the salted and unsalted here, the Meyer butter. Uh, Land O'Lakes is no longer on sale here, Challenge, or Challenge butter is no longer on sale either. They do have these little uh, country crock spreads here for $2.99, but that's it. Someone had said that there was a shortage of orange juice, uh, and we got a comment uh, probably about a few weeks ago of someone else saying that there was a shortage of orange juice. We had, the, we had an issue a few months ago, but haven't had this issue since. I do, you know, there are some holes here, but for the most part, this is about all Meyer carries. We'll have to check at Kroger here in a couple days, because Kroger usually has a pretty large amount of orange juice, plus they have their own brand. Um, well, I guess Meyer has their own brand too, but um, yeah, it's something we'll definitely keep an eye on. A lot of these are pulled up forward too, so I don't know. There may be a shortage. Let us know down in the comments if you've noticed that orange juice has been low in a lot of your stores. I'm going to quickly check out some of the coffee sales this week. They do have the Duncan 12 ounce ground for $7.79 on sale this week, down from $8.59. They have the 8 o'clock coffee, which been, we've been getting more and more comments on 8 o'clock coffee lately. Uh, $5.49. So this is what the regular price was not that long ago, $5.49. But, or no, it was $5.79. I'm sorry. $5.79 was the regular price. Now, $6.49. So $5.49 on sale. Okay, so this is the one I was pretty excited to show you guys. We have a lot of viewers on the channel that drink Pete's Coffee. They do have the whole bean here, too, of the, uh, of the dark roast here. Um, they do have the ground as well. Most importantly... $7.99 this week, down from $11.99. $12.49 regular price at Kroger, $11.99 regular price here at Meyer. $7.99 this week, that is a great deal. They have their Starbucks 12-ounce packs 
of ground on sale this week for $7.99. Sorry, I was looking for whole bean. I know it's been a been a whole bean, trying to find whole beans. They do have the whole bean of the uh, Pete's Coffee, which is pretty cool. Um, $7.99 for the pods as well of the Pike's Place here. I'm sorry, Starbucks. I always say Pike's Place because that's the one I drink. That sale for the Pete's Coffee does include the Keurig pods also. $7.99. Can you imagine paying $12 for 10 cups of coffee? $12. $11.99 regular price for that. $7.99 on sale. A little better. They should do it like how Duncan does it. So it was $7.79 for, for 12 ounces of the Duncan ground. Or $6.99 for the 10 pots. Okay, so don't pay attention to this McCafe thing here. This actually expired. This expired on the 11th, which was last Saturday. They do have the uh, 12 pods of the 8 o'clock coffee on the same sale as what the ground was for $5.49. Look at this, though. We got Maxwell House pods. Maxwell House pods, and they're on sale. Rarely ever see these at any grocery store anymore. They're, I, they always have a sticker for them, but they're always like sold out anywhere we go. Um, and I don't know if they just weren't coming in for a while, but $7.29 here for these. I know we got a lot of Maxwell House drinkers on the channel, so just wanted to point that one out. I know Kroger had a digital coupon for Folgers for $6.99. Uh, you guys will be seeing this video on Tuesday, which will be Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. Um, I don't, I assume that that digital coupon may extend. I'm not really sure. You may want to look at that before you go to Kroger. Um, Meyer does have their coffee on sale, which is regularly $9.99, which is just crazy. Uh, $6.99 this week on sale, though. I, I know somebody asked me if I've ever tried this. I've never tried the Meyer Classic Roast or the French Roast. I've never tried any of these, so I have no idea. Uh, if you have tried Meyer uh, Classic Roast coffee or any of these, let us know down below. Let us know what you think. No sale on Maxwell House coffee ground this week. Just those pods back there, but I do see... Now, I don't think they have the regular here um, probably sold out because this is a good deal. They have the 30-ounce containers of Dunkin' here, ground coffee, $16.29 this week. Regular price, $19.29. They still kind of have these weird deals on these teas here. I mean, it's good to get something, I guess, because these Zazas, you know, they've gone over 44 or 44 four dollars and nine cents over four dollars but on select tea products here at meyer until the 25th of february 2023 if you buy two select tea products you get a dollar fifty off your next shopping trip if you buy three of them then you get three dollars off so if you shop at meyer regularly and you drink these teas here you know then it's it's worth it to you but i understand that if people don't shop at meyer all the time you know you may forget about this deal or something I was walking back toward the flour and sugar here, and I did notice that the Jello that you make yourself, they do have a little bit of a sale on $1.50 this week. Only down from $1.65, so not much of a sale, 15 cents off, but hey, 15 cents is 15 cents, and they have a lot of the sugar-free ones here. So we had some comments on King Arthur flour and how it's been going up in price. It has. It went up here at Meyer, $6.19 for the five pounds. 10 pounds of the all-purpose flour for 10.39, so a little bit of a sale. Um, the um, all-purpose flour, 10 pounds of the gold medal, went up to 7.49. Now they have a sale going on on the all-purpose uh, gold medal flour, five pounds, regular price. Now 4.49 on sale for 3.49, but they don't. They have one here. That looks like it's got an extra 25 cents off too here. I guess somebody. Didn't want that toilet paper or something. They have plenty of Meyer flour down here. Uh, $2.29 for the five pounds all-purpose flour. And same with the bleached and unbleached. And is this 10 pounds? 10 pounds down here for $4.49. So I don't know what happened here, but they are completely out of bags of sugar. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. They've got two of the 10 pounds down there. $7.99 for the Meyer sugar down there. Didn't see that. I better back up a little bit here. Nope. Everything else. All the four-pound bags. Most of their ten-pound bags. Even the Domino sugar. I see one. Well, they have these containers here. This is ridiculous right here. So this is five ninety-nine for three and a half pounds. So you're only you're getting the shrink-flated three and a half pounds. Four forty-nine for four pounds. Now, if you're buying this like just I don't know for the container, a one-time deal or something. Okay, I could see that, but. 
Wow, this is crazy. They're, they're almost completely out of sugar here. They got plenty of powdered sugar. Crazy. We had another comment on Dole Fruit Cups going up in price. Well, they were $2.95 here, which made them $0.04 cents cheaper than Kroger. They were $2.99 at Kroger. We'll have to check to see if theirs went up. Three oh five here now, so these have gone up ten cents here at Meyer, which doesn't sound like much, but ten cents you keep adding all that up, it can it can amount to a lot over time. Oh, I notice canned fruits went up here too, two dollars and forty five cents for the Del Monte canned fruits. Uh, we saw where they went up to two forty nine at Kroger after being two thirty nine forever. A lot of these things, you know, I had a feeling these were going to be going up again. You know, these things, I, I try to point them out as I see them so that if you guys find a sale on them, you know, you can buy up some, at least save you, save you a few bucks, you know, for the future, in the future. That being said, Meyer does have good uh, canned fruits here, and they are pretty, fairly cheap. $1.45 a can, you're saving a dollar off. These were $1.29 a can forever, same as Kroger. Curious to see if Kroger's is going up too. Again, we'll have to check that here in a couple days. Uh, see, like the, yeah, so the Dole here, they're still $2.39. Still $2.39 for these. So these haven't gone up yet, but we've been getting comments that they have gone up in some places. So let's so have to continue to keep our eyes open. As we go along and get more viewers on the channel, we are getting a lot more people who shop at Meijer. Uh, a couple people had mentioned within the last week or two that Meijer's oil, uh, cooking oil, did go up. It did. It, it was $3.99 for a while. It went up $0.30, cents, $4.29 now on the vegetable oil and the canola oil. Which is kind of funny because usually canola oil is like $0.10 cents higher, but they are both the same price. But Crisco here, pretty expensive, $7 now. And this is the shrinkflated 40 ounces. Uh, at least you get 48 ounces with the Meyer brand. And the canola oil, which is kind of funny, this one is actually cheaper. This is, I kind of question this sticker though, $5.99 for canola oil, $6.99 for the vegetable oil. If I would have known we were going to be making those sausage balls, what we like to call cannonballs for our game time party, I would have bought this here at Meyer. Only $4.89 here for the same 40 ounce box that we got at Kroger. $5.99 at Kroger. $5.99. That is ridiculous. $4.89 here still. Not many great sales at Meyer this week. I was a little surprised. I, you know, I thought there would be some good things uh, coming out today. We saw some more price increases on some things, but we also saw a lot of things continuing to miss at Meyer, like the frozen vegetables. Uh, a lot of that appetizer stuff, I'm sure, had to do with the Super Bowl and stuff like that. But we do have to keep an eye on these things, you know, to make sure that they're coming in. Uh, you know, we saw pricing, you know, we had a comment about pears. I'm surprised, especially like as bad as they've been. I've had a couple pairs, and like most of you have said, they've been really hard. The the couple that I have had, they've been kind of rock solid. They're definitely not worth two oh nine a pound, um, you know. But a, a lot of these things, we are continuing to see prices increase on things, uh, especially meat, steaks, and those prices are going through the roof. So if you find a sale on them, I recommend buying up a few, especially if you eat a lot of steak. Kind of surprising to see virtually no sugar also. We'll have to check Kroger here on a couple of these like main baking items, you know, because if there's going to be a shortage of this stuff, we need to know right away. You know, that's kind of, you know, that's why we do this every day so that not only that we can help save you money, but make sure that the stores are getting in the products. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out. Thank <laughs> you.